Hey guys, it's Mark from Modern Tech and today I'm going to hopefully take you on a bit of a journey on how I turned this dumping ground into my perfect dream man cave slash office. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> but here we go. Now before starting this, I had already done the ceiling with my wife. We'd put the plasterboards up and we've just packed a load of insulation in there just to make it as retain as much heat as possible. So the first main plan of action what I had to do is get rid of all the shelving units, just everything I used for to manage my stock with as I'm a, and my workbenches. So I sold them on Facebook Marketplace, just cheap and cheerful, 20 quid each, just for someone to come and pick them up and get them gone. And then finally, it was all clear. Now I couldn't do any brickwork myself, so I had to hire somebody to come and dispose of the garage door and to build a wall frame around with a window in there. That was a long process, it shouldn't have took that long. It took the guy about three weeks, but to be fair he was a bit dilly-dallying. <laughs> but the job's done and I'm happy with it, so jobs are good. We managed to get bricks that matched the house, which was great. The brown window matched the rest of the house and all our other windows were brown, so that worked perfect. Now we had to cut holes in the ceiling to get rid of the big silly lights that were there just to put a regular light in there to make it a bit more of a normal room and rewire some of the plug sockets around so there's a plug socket in each corner so there's four plug sockets in total, four double plug sockets in total which is way more than enough but to be honest with you I thought may as well go big or go home, make the most out of it. Once the electrics were done Plasterboard could finally go on the wall with a framing going around the outside. Each plasterboard is a really thick insulated board to keep the warmth in. And for any excess, I kind of just stuffed in the ceiling in any of the gaps just to try and make the most out of it. And surprisingly, I got absolutely loads more in there. Now, the next thing to do was to plaster, but unfortunately, the first thing plastered was the ceiling and it all completely fell down. I have no idea why it fell down, but it did. So we replaced that with a PVC, with PVC panels, and it looks brilliant. It's nice because I have lights in this room, as you've seen in the beginning of the video, and it shows a nice reflection of the lights on the ceiling, so that's perfect. Once the plaster and all the walls were completely dry, all we have to do then is to paint it, and then that's almost the room done took a few coats of white paint and then laid down some thin insulation on top of the flooring boards so that the new laminate flooring will be ready to be installed. Installing laminate flooring did take a lot longer than I thought it would but with, between me and my wife we managed to tackle it out and get it done and feel like we've done a pretty good job. I got this big TV unit off Facebook Marketplace for £40 and to be honest with you, I ever knew how hard it was going to be to set up, I would not have bought it, but we did it, we got it together, it took us like a full day, in the end, the overall result does look good. I did buy a new TV specifically for this unit, it's the perfect size for the unit to get the most out of the display. Now I put up some PVC plastic wall panels, which look great, they are fully just for aesthetic, they do no sound proofing or dampening or anything like that, they are just for more of a visual look and to be honest they look great. I only had to buy nine of these because I was going to have my desk in the way and I'm not going to look down underneath my desk and be bothered about wall panels. I've got lights on the back of my TV, they are Govi lights, they are great. And I managed to put up all my manga on the top shelf using two bricks at each side as weights. And now this took a while, this is my manga wall art panel. They were all A4 sheets of manga pictures, all on sticky paper, straight onto the wall, one by one, cut them into different sizes to get the perfect size and cut round some of the edges. But in the end, it took about an hour, but I got there and the overall result was absolutely incredible for me. Now once my desk was put in, it's some IKEA furniture, I've got lights going all the way around these are the same as these are govi lights so these can be controlled off my phone as well as my tv lights and to be honest these completely changed the whole look of the room for me i absolutely love them and i feel like this was the best purchase i've made on these 
as you can tell I've got my consoles on display because I like just to have my collection out there. I also have my computer hooked up to my TV with a HDMI cable which I can toggle on and off so when I'm doing work I'll strictly so if I'm doing work I'll strictly stay on the computer but if I'm playing a game, a single player game, I'll put it on the big screen TV, pull out my cheap toughie, put my legs up and get stuck in. Admittedly the blinds took me a lot longer than I thought to set up, I don't know why, they just did, it just didn't, it was something that just did not wrap around my brain but I managed to do it in the end. I've got this beautiful black IKEA unit which matches the rest of the room and this holds a lot of my work equipment like my printers and sublimation stuff. And as you can see I've got my PC which is my pride and joy of my 3080 Ti running and a pretty good wireless network card. This was not a super easy task and I do hope you enjoyed viewing this video. It took a while and I'm very very happy with the end results. If you have any questions please feel free to comment below and I'll answer the best I can. If you enjoyed this video please consider a subscribe and liking the video because that really does help. I'm hoping to continue doing more stuff on YouTube especially now that I've got my little office room sorted. Hopefully I can make more videos with this. So thank you for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it.